Kurt Meyer, often known as Panzer Meyer, was a high-ranking officer in the Waffen SS, the combat branch of the SS, during World War II. He was known for his leadership in armored units, particularly for his command of the 12th SS Panzer Division, Hitler Jugend, and his involvement in war crimes. Born on the 23rd of December 1910 in Jerksheim, Germany, Meyer joined the Hitler Youth Organization as a young man before enlisting in the German army. He transferred to the Leibstandarte SS Adolf Hitler upon its formation in 1933. He quickly rose through the ranks due to his tactical acumen and leadership abilities, becoming one of the youngest regimental commanders during the war. Meyer saw action on several fronts during World War II, including France, the Balkans and the Soviet Union. He earned a reputation as a tough and aggressive officer, and his units were often at the forefront of Germany's panzer divisions. In 1944, Meyer took command of the 12th SS Panzer Division, Hitler Jugend, a unit primarily composed of former Hitler Youth members, during the Normandy campaign. His division was involved in numerous war crimes, including the murder of Canadian prisoners of war in what became known as the Ardennes Abbey Massacre. After the Normandy campaign, Meyer was captured by Allied forces in September 1944. During his captivity, Meyer spent time at Trent Park alongside other senior German commanders. It was at Trent Park that the private conversations amongst these commanders were secretly recorded. These recordings were valuable for gathering intelligence and assisted in confirming the existence of the V-2 weapon and the location of the launch facilities at Pienemunde. The recordings also confirmed that senior officers were well aware of the extermination programs being carried out on the Eastern Front. The unguarded conversations were also fascinating in that they allowed Allied intelligence officers to assess how committed or not the various officers were to the Nazi regime. The recordings confirmed that Meyer remained fully committed to the cause of National Socialism, a fact he never denied, and perhaps is not surprising given his involvement with organizations of the regime from an early age. He was tried and convicted for war crimes by a Canadian military court in December 1945. Meyer was initially sentenced to death, but his sentence was later commuted to life imprisonment. Meyer's case is an interesting one in that it was one of the earliest applications of the legal concept of command responsibility, individual accountability for the actions of subordinates in violating the laws of war. While in prison, Meyer wrote a memoir, Grenadier, published in English as Command Panzer, which detailed his experiences during the war. He was released from prison in 1954, after his release, Meyer became involved in HIAG, a lobby group and a revisionist veterans organization founded by former high-ranking Waffen-SS personnel in West Germany in 1951. He served as its spokesman and became a leading figure in efforts to rehabilitate the reputation of the Waffen-SS. Kurt Meyer died of a heart attack on the 23rd of December 1961 in Hagen, West Germany. He was 51.